You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yes, I had a great weekend, y'all. I had a really good weekend. I had, um, I went to a recom, I went to a wedding ceremony for my friend Derek and his wife Maria. They were recommitting themselves after 15 years of marriage, which I thought that was just lovely. So I went there, had a good time there, and then yesterday. One of the women of the chambers of, of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber had this wonderful event for a young lady who's just graduated high school and she's going off to college and she had this wisdom. It was like a wisdom dinner where she invited a bunch of women to come out and impart some wisdom into her. So as she go on her journey off to college, you know, she can be well equipped. We wrote letters to her. People put things on cards. She put it in, in a wisdom jar. Just a, It was just a beautiful event. It was just a beautiful event. And, um, I thought that was like so nice. I had never seen, I had never seen anything like that before. And I thought that was really, really nice. So I had, I had a very eventful weekend. So dinner with my husband on Friday night, wedding on Saturday night, dinner party on wisdom party on Sunday night. And I was exhausted yesterday. By the time I got home, I was exhausted. Yes, I was, but I ain't complaining because I had a wonderful time. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And what was crazy, we had pretty decent weather. Yeah, that part, that part right there was something serious because, you know, normally we, we can have some crazy weather, but we had some pretty decent weather and I was excited about that. But anyway, let's keep this train rolling. Today is Monday, July 17th. Yes, it is past the middle of the week. We are heading into, ooh we it'll be August in a minute, y'all. It will be August in a minute. But anyway, today is Monday, July 17th. It's also Global Hug Your Kids Day. So hug your kids. If they're in your if your children are in your vicinity, vicinity, give them a big hug. Um, King's birthday, King Lesto, Lesotho, and Lesotho. King's birthday and Lesotho. Have no idea what that is. Korean Constitution Day. Marine Day in Japan, National Cory Day. So if your name is Cory, shout out to all the Cory. Speaking of Cory, so it's, it's Marine Day in Japan. Georgette's son name is Cory. He lives in Japan. So shout out to Cory. Cory Tello over in Japan. Love you, little kid. He's, he's a grown man now. You know, I've been knowing him since he was little, though. He was like five. I think he's like, I think he may be almost 30. That's how long I've been knowing him. But he lives in Japan, and he speaks fluent Japanese, which I thought that is just so, so cool. Um, but shout out to all the Corys in the world. National Get Out of the Dog House Day. So whatever you did to get into the dog house this weekend, this is your opportunity to get out of the dog house. All right, all right. Somebody listen. National Lottery Day. I'm going to play the lottery today. I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky today. I'm going to go. Today is National Lottery Day. I'm only going to spend a dollar. I know people are like, really, Gorgie? Yep, that's pretty much all I spent. The most I ever spent is $3. That's that's when the jackpot is huge, and I'll spend $3 on that. But for the most part, I'm spending a dollar. Today, I already know I'm probably going to, I might spend $3. Might, but no more than three. National Lottery Day. National Peach Ice Cream Day. I don't like flavored ice cream. I like cookies and creams. I like butter pecan. I like vanilla walnuts. But that's pretty much all the ice cream I like. Yeah, but it's, it's National Peach Ice Cream Day. National Tattoo Day. You know, I got one tattoo. My daughter has about 26 tattoos. I have one tattoo. That's all. That's it. Um, President President Day in Botswana. Shout out to Botswana. You know, I have, I'm going to Liberia in October. I'm excited about this. As a matter of fact, I need to get my stuff together and get all that stuff in place. Um, but I heard that Botswana is one of the countries in, in Africa that is completely debt free because they have so many, uh, natural resources and they are a thriving country in Africa. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, Africa is a continent. Botswana is a country inside of Africa on the continent of Africa. Yeah. That's sounds crazy. Every time I hear it, like yeah, Africa is a continent and Botswana is a country on the continent of Africa. Somebody just got some education today. Yes. Like, like United States is a country that sit in North America. Like we are on the continent of North America and we are a country that's, that's in North America. 
We're not, we, yes, we're not a continent. We're a country in North America. Botswana is a country on the continent of Africa. <sighs> Tell you something about saying that, y'all. World Emoji Day, World Emoji Day, World Day for International Justice. Speaking of international justice, I got a story for you guys. And I, I'm, you know, it makes me leery every time I hear these crazy stories. But it's about World International Justice. And we're going to talk about it as soon as I get finished with the horoscopes. Um, wrong Way Carrigan Day. I have no idea what that means. Wrong Way, wrong way Karen, Carrigan Day. Yeah. Yellow Pig Day. Yeah, yeah. Coral Coral Reef Awareness Day. I saw this. I saw this um, documentary. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was called um, "Building Paradise Island," and it was a cruise company, and they wanted to have their own little slice of heaven in in, in on their own island. So there's an island over in, in Bahamas that was uninhi- uh, uninhibited or unoccupied. They used to be drilling there and pulling up sand from the from the ocean floor to take the sand somewhere else. And so they left the island a mess. They had all this equipment, all this metal on the island, but this cruise company decided they wanted to have their own island. And so they decided to, I guess they bought the island for them from, from Bahamas and they turned it into the, their own paradise island, which I thought that was so interesting. But what was interesting about that was that the coral reef that was under the ocean that laid on the ocean floor was damaged. And they were talking about how this was a part of our environment. And I was like, wow. So it, it went really deep. I watched the entire, um, the entire documentary. And I had no idea, like, the importance of coral reef um, to the environment. But apparently there's some huge, some huge environmental concerns when the coral reef is damaged. So coral reef is at the, at the bottom of the ocean. And so they decided to relocate the coral reef and put it somewhere else so it could thrive. And to help the environment. Now, I want to look a little bit deep into what that means because I, I didn't, ha- I, had, I had no clue. When you think about stuff under the water, you know, you think about fish, right? Most of the time, you're trying to eat fish, um, but you don't think about the plants that grow under the water. And some beautiful plants grow under water. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. Um, it's Hemp History Week. Hemp History Week. So if you don't know your history about hemp, check it out. South Asian Heritage Month. Shout out to all the South Asians out there. South Asian South Asian Heritage Month. Yes, that's what it is. All right, those are your national days for the day and national weeks and all that good stuff and national months, all that good stuff. Now let's keep this train rolling and get on with these hard scores brought to you by Noted Astrology Micah Thyssen for today, Monday, July 17th. We're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Don't be angry. Be on your guard. Your communication skills will bring you popularity and increase your self-esteem. You will find that social activities will lead you into passionate meetings. Okay. All right. Now listen here. Listen here, Aries. I know you want to get into these passionate meetings, but you know, don't let them get too passionate now, <laughs> especially if you're in a situation. And also if you're trying to do business, I don't know if you want to really want, I don't know if you really want to mix business with pleasure. I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. Taurus, you're supportive. Be supportive in order to avoid confrontations. Invite people home to discuss your plans for group fundraising events and outings. You may make someone look bad. All right, here's the thing. Be careful what you say today, Taurus. You may not, it may not be your intention to make them look bad, but what you say could make them look bad. So be careful not to do that, especially if it's unintentional. So just be careful what you say and what you do, okay? All right. Gemini, you may find yourself in a heated dispute with a friend if you try to change your mind. Business and emotional partnerships will, will run smoothly. You'll be quite excitable today. What's got you so excited, Gemini? You're going to be so excitable today because your business and emotional partnerships are running smoothly. That will make me excited too. If that's what's making you excited, I understand. I understand. However, you might find yourself in a heated dispute with a friend if you try to change your mind. Listen, don't try to change nobody's mind. Let them go ahead and do what they're going to do. Don't you try to change your mind, Gemini. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. In the meantime, you be excited about the things that's happening for you and your partnerships. That sounds more fun. Cancer, someone may try to damage your reputation. Get involved in creative projects that will turn into money-making ventures. Your pilgrim, pilgrim, pilgrimage may end up being fruitless. All right, so this is a journey that you're about to go on. is It could be fruitless. In the meantime... Don't watch your back. Watch the people around you. They may try to damage your reputation, but get involved in projects that could, that could turn into money-making ventures. 
And if you decide to do that cancer, be sure to do your due diligence and check out the sources that you're about to get involved with, right? Everything that looks good is not good. Everything that promises to make money don't make money. So just make sure you do your homework. Leo, too many opportunities and too many changes going on. Stomach problems could prevail if you haven't been watching your diet. Take care of your own responsibilities before you can help others. You know, there's an old saying, right? When you're on an airplane and the plane discovers it has some problems, the first thing they tell you is put the oxygen on yourself and then put the oxygen on somebody else. So in this instance, Leo, you want to take care of your own responsibilities before you help others because what you don't want to do is help others and then you're out in the cold. So take care of your stuff first, all right? And also take care of yourself. Watch what you're eating. Virgo, chances are you split up the last time because you didn't really want to make a commitment. Opportunities to get together with people in powerful places and powerful positions could help you get ahead. Try not to overspend on family and friends. All right, listen. I know it's tempting, Virgo. I know it's tempting to go back into the past. But there was a reason you broke up. Was it who didn't want to commit? Was it you, Virgo? Or was it the other person? Here's the thing. If you're going backwards, know why you're going backwards. I'm just saying, you left, you, you didn't go forward for a reason. So make sure you know why you want to go backwards. All right? All right. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thias. And stay tuned. One, two, three. Love should be easy. Why should it not? When all you want. behind you left behind it's your girl audrey bell kearney bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer micah thighs i'm gonna pick it up with libra you may have a problem with someone you live with if you don't include them in your gatherings you can stabilize your situation if you compromise your fight for those less fortunate is not likely to end in sweet victory 
All right, listen, before you go out there fighting, just know that you can lose Libra. And if and if it's okay that you use and fight the good fight, but here's the thing, it just may not end in sweet victory for whatever the reason may be. So don't be disillusioned that it will. All right? All right. Scorpio, get involved in fitness programs that will bring you in contact with new friends. You'll look guilty if you don't lay your cards on the table. You can make adjustments in your domestic scene today. All right, look, listen, if you don't put your cards on the table, Scorpio, you're going to look guilty as you know what I want to say, but this is a family show. So put your cards on the table. Let them know what, listen, put the truth out there. I know some people, some people can't handle the truth. I get it. I get it. But it's going to make you look guilty if you don't. That's all I'm saying. Sagittarius, limitations at work may set you back. Your intuition will be right on. Follow your feelings and matters of pertaining to financial investments. Don't push your mate if you want to keep this union going. All right, your intuition is right on today, uh, Sagittarius, so follow your gut. If your gut is telling you one thing, that's probably what it is. So follow your, follow your gut. That's all I'm saying. Capricorn, you will have to control the way you feel. Put your efforts into being creative. You can get a lo- you can get a lot done if you get your hands on the right equipment. Capricorn, you know you're very creative. I know a bunch of Capricorns, and mostly all of them are extremely creative. They write, they sing, they decorate, they dance. They're very creative. So even though you know you can't control the way you feel, yeah, you know you're having some problems here, focus on your creativity. Let that be your outlet right now. That's going to help you. And you are creative. Most of the Capricorns I know are very creative. Just like, like a lot of Virgos, very, very creative. Like I know a bunch of Virgos, all of them are creative. Just very creative. They write, they sing, they dance, they decorate, they make things with their hands. Like, yeah, Capricorns and Virgos are the most creative people I know. Aquarius, you'll be able to communicate well today. Finish those changes you've been t- talking about making um, to your residence. Your work at home, um, do your work at home and if you can, someone may be trying to make you look bad. Aquarius, watch your back. Yeah, they're trying to make you look bad. Everybody's smiling your face and it's not your friend, right? They smile on your face and all the time they want to take your pace, place, them backstab us, so watch your back. Yeah, in the meantime, um, in the meantime, take care of your house. Fix up the things you want to fix up. Let me tell y'all something. I'm, when I tell you about, it was so funny. There are things that I'm just not great at, right? Can I do them? Yes. Are they great when I do them? No. Decorating is one of those things. I have no eye for decorating. I wish I did, but I don't. Now, when it comes to things on this computer, I'm great at that. I'm not trying to say that to brag. I'm just great at that. When it comes to decorating something, I'm not great at that. And so, um, I don't even have curtains in my house. That sounds crazy, right? And if I put up a curtain, it might look different. But it's, it's like, okay, we got blinds. To me, that's fine. But then I look around like, oh, I do see houses that I like to have curtains. That is pretty. I suck at that. I know my weaknesses. Yes. All right. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. Opportunities to get together with friends will be enlightening and entertaining. Erratic behavior at home may be hard to handle. You may find yourself tied to the phone. Not today. I'm not, I don't know about y'all fish, but I don't have time to be tied to the phone today. So I will not be tied to the phone. Erratic behavior at home may be hard to handle. Here's the thing. It can get erratic at the one in my house. The person that's acting nuts going to have to get out. I don't have anybody in my house though, but my uncle, myself, and my husband. My husband come on acting nuts. I, if my husband come home acting erratic, I know something is wrong because he's always mild mannered. He's always calm, cool, and collected. If he come home, act, he comes on acting nuts. I'm like, what's wrong with you? We need to get you some something to calm you down. I don't know. What do I need to do? In the meantime, opportunities to get together with friends will be enlightening and entertaining. I don't know about you, but I love it. Anytime I can be enlightened and entertained at the same time. I absolutely love it for real. I love it. I love it. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. with more of the horoscopes brought to you by Nerdist Astrology Mike Thais. And now let's get on to some news you can use. All right, so I came across this um I came across this story on on I don't know, Microsoft. And I thought it was a disgusting story. Um uh there is a conservative radio station in Tennessee. Um, the, the owner of the station said some really derogatory things about the, um, about the press secretary. Her name is Corinne Jean Pierre and he called her buckwheat. 
And he and so he called the buckwheat quite a few times. I see people like that. We need to put them on an island by themselves. Y'all y'all stay over there and talk to each other because y'all are disgusting. Like he calls a buckwheat. He, then he calls it like several times. He called a buckwheat, right? So this, for those of you who don't know who buckwheat is, if you ever watched the Little Rascals, which I used to love the Little Rascals when I was a little girl in the Three Stooges, um, buckwheat was a little black boy on there. So it was Stymie. And Stymie was the one that wore the cape. He was a black boy, too. He wore a hat. But Buckwheat had his hair sticking up on his head. So he called her Buckwheat. And he called her Buckwheat like three or four times. And then when people brought it to his attention and talked about how horrible he was for doing it, he, he said, Buckwheat, Buckwheat, Buckwheat. He said it some more times, right? And then he then he went on to say that Buckwheat, he was calling her that because she was smart and some other bullshit that I can't say on. You know, it, like seriously? Like you think, and he think that's funny. Like he's disgusting. I just, you know, I saw the story and I was disgusted by him. And then, you know, he has a black guy up there and he was like, you know, why do you think that's, you know, I mean, Buckwheat, he tried to go on, Buckwheat was smart and he was this and he was that, he was this and he was intelligent. All this nonsense. I was like, he, I would, I would, but see, here's the thing. I wouldn't spend a dime, I wouldn't spend a dime on his radio show. Not one. But there are people who thought that was funny right along with him because they're disgusting too, and they would support his show, and they're going to continue to support his show. My thing is, it's co- it's okay to have different political views, but when you start when you start talking derogatorily uh, about people, that's not cute. I don't think that's cute. You know, like that's not funny. Like calling her book, that's not funny. But he thought it was funny, and then he went on to say, you know, oh, but we, I mean, but we was smart. He was this. He was that. Like you are. Mm. Some things, some choice words I could say to him, but I won't. I just, I just had to share that. Like I was like, oh my god, these people are disgusting. They are horrible. Now I want to talk about this story because remember I said I was going to talk about international justice. Okay, I'm feeling very leery about leaving the United States, like for real. So there's a young lady. She was over in Dubai. You know, everybody. That's not a place I want to go. I've never said I want to go to Dubai. Maybe once, but it's not. It's not on my list. Greece is on my list. Italy is on my list. Africa is on my list and Bali. Those are the places I want to go. And I'm going to go to Africa in October. This young lady went to Dubai on a trip just to have some fun. And apparently she was in an accident. While she was in an accident, she went to the police station to get her belongings back. No, not, not the police station, the car rental place to get her belongings back. And so when she got to the car rental place, the guy told her, well, I can't give you back your belongings until you pay all this extra money. Now, she was like, I'm not paying you money. So the guy proceeded to yell at her and she yelled back. Because she yelled, so she's in jail right now for two months because she screamed in Dubai. Yeah, she yelled in Dubai. She was screaming at, She was screaming in public. That's what they said. She was screaming in public in Dubai and they sent, her to, they sent her to jail. She's been there for two months. I'm very leery about going to these countries. I don't care how beautiful they are, right? Because you don't know their customs. And I, and I will tell anybody, like right now I'm just looking at this and I know if that had been me, I probably would have screamed too. But she probably did not know the customs of the country. I know, like I watched this show, um, an episode of the show, and, and it was a young man in Dubai. He lived there. And the girl came to Dubai to meet him on a date. And she could buy alcohol, but he couldn't buy alcohol. And I'm saying, so you can't, so you can't buy, if you live in Dubai, you can't buy alcohol. But people that don't live in Dubai can come over there and buy alcohol. That sounds crazy. Anyway, I'm very leery about going to countries. Right now, she's sitting up in jail over in Dubai because she can't get out because she screamed in public because somebody screamed at her. And I was like, that is nuts. Yeah. Her mother says she's been placed under travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. Tierra, who is a social media influence and a truck driver, has been told that she could be sentenced to jail time since there is apparently surveillance video of her screaming. They gonna send her to jail. That is, I, I'm never going to Dubai. Scratch, I, I it has never been on my to do list, and I would never go there. Yeah, and I'm hoping that if they don't send her home, cause she did not know the rules, right? You gotta learn the rules of these countries. It's it's sad but true. You can't go to people's country thinking you can do the thing. Same, listen, they talk crap about America, but listen, I ain't trying to leave live nowhere else but the USA. That's right. I'll go visit some places, not too many of those. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, sit your backside in your own country. I, I That's right. We want to go to these beautiful places, but these people, man, they'll throw us in jail in New York minute for stuff. Like she was over there yelling cause the man yelled at her. Now she's in jail. 
for two months and they, and she got to go to, she got to go to court and they, and she may be travel. She may be sentenced to jail time. I think that's nuts, but those are their rules. That's their house. And you are living in it. I, I'm listen, I'm becoming very leery about going after, after the young Brittany, after she spent all that time, on, I know I would never go to Russia anyway. Like that's not a place. I don't think I, none of them places. I, yeah. They're not on my list. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story cause I thought that was crazy. All right, I'm going to go to another song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County, so stay tuned. I know it's been a while Haven't talked since July You've been on my mind Don't hang up I know it's been some time Since I called you mine You've been on my mind Don't hang up Maybe I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me, is she gonna stay? by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen. So they had a little lemonade stand over in North Cross and some officers stopped by. You know, it's so cool because um, I did the same thing. There was a there was a young kid who had a, a lemonade stand over in the Kroger's parking lot. And I was in my car and I was about to leave. I don't I don't like lemonade, so which is weird. My grandmother used to make fresh lemonade all the time. Real lemons and sugar, like real lemonade, not the not the other kind. And I would drink it then, but for some reason, I don't like lemonade now, so I don't really drink lemonade, and I didn't want any. But anyway, I gave the little girl $5 for some lemonade. Anyway, the North Cross police uh, stopped by and bought some lemonade, so I thought that was really cool. Listen, that's nice. Support these young entrepreneurs. That's what they did. Listen, they are starting to do great things already. 
Shout out to Tumble Pros over in uh, in Snellville. Tumble Pros is a new tumbling school um, over in Snellville. They are new there. They're located at 2054 Main Street East. It's cheer and tumbling and stunt class facility. So shout out to Tumble Pros. I want to give them a shout out. My sugar baby is um she is a cheerleader. I got to tell my daughter about Tumble Pros though. My sugar baby's a cheerleader. She cheers and she just loves it. And I was like, and she's like, look, dear. And she showed me her little stain. You know, cheerleaders are so stiff. Like they can't be wiggling around. They're stiff. Even when they're dancing, they're stiff. You, if you look at most cheerleaders, they have their little dance move, but they're never like very wiggly. They're more like very stiff and, you know, and that's how she is. So she was showing me all her cheer moves. But anyway, shout out to Tumble Pros. If you're looking to put your daughter into tumbling or cheerleading, um, or stunt classes, you can go to Tumble Pros, tumblepros.net. They're over at 2054 Main Street East. Yep, just opened up in Snellville. So go ahead and check them out. I thought that was pretty doggone cool too. Pretty cool. All right, so Gwinnett County, listen, Gwinnett County had a, a school orientation for nearly over a 1,000 new teachers. Yeah, we had a teacher shortage for a second, y'all. Because of the pandemic, after the pandemic hit, we were, they were struggling. They were struggling to get teachers. Teachers were quitting. They were overworked. They felt bad. But last week, they had a, um, a huge, huge orientation, huge orientation. And so now we got a bunch of new teachers, thousands to be, ex- over a thousand to be exact, um, to, to kick off the two, 2023, 24 new school year. And we need that. We need to make sure we got good qualified teachers in place. You know, after the pandemic, there were so many teachers who just felt exhausted. And what was interesting is they weren't even in the classroom. But I felt like they felt like they had more control in the classroom versus not being in the classroom. And so um, just to see this many new teaching um, teachers coming on board is a great thing. So big, big orientation last week, over a thousand teachers. So sounds good. Shout out to all the teachers. Listen, keep educating our kids and keeping them on track. They need it because the world is changing so rapidly around us. They need to be they need to be on track. They need to have the best education possible because they need to be able to survive in the world that's coming. I'm not trying to bring doom and gloom. I'm just saying what it is. That's all I'm saying. Um, Snellville resident heads up compliance for High, um, Hyperion Bank. Yep. So shout out to the new. Uh, her name is Tanya Hughes. She is the uh, new CR. CM as as EVP and compliance department manager responsible for overseeing the bank's compliance management program for Hyperion Bank. She's a banking professional in the Atlanta market for the past 20 years. She has over 30 years of banking experience, having held positions as a national, regional, and community banks in credit union, credit and collections, lending operations, and most recently, regulatory compliance. So shout out to Miss Tanya Hughes for her for her um her uh, 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 new appointment. Yeah, got it. Listen, I don't mind showing love to folk. I do not mind. If you are doing good work, I don't mind showing love to people. I do not. So that's just me. Not everybody's like that. All right, listen, you want to do some Toastmasters? I need to go to Toastmasters. I keep saying I'm going to go. I think when school comes back in, because we have the one closest to me is at Discovery High School. If you haven't figured it out yet, I talk fast most of the time. I get stumble. I stumble over my words most of the time. And I know if I went to Toastmasters and learned how to speak properly, I probably would slow down and speak more clearly. And sometimes I do when I slow down. I have to I have to remember to slow down. Anyway, if that sounds like you and you want to get better at speaking, Toastmasters Club in Peachtree Corners is happening this evening. So go out and check them out, 6.30 this evening. Um, they're going to be at Unity Atlanta Church located at 3597 Parkway Lane in Peachtree Corners. If you are looking to better yourself, your public speaking presentation skills, this is an opportunity. I think I went to Toastmasters like three times. And when I went there, I got a job and then I never went back because I met somebody at Toastmasters who gave me a job, gave me a job making more money than what I was making, giving me more freedom than, than I had at my other job because I was a job coach. I got hired as a job coach. And I thought that was interesting because they was like, well, it's kind of like having your own business. And I was like, really? So to me, that sounded exciting. It was more stressful than any business I ever had. <laughs> it was like having my own business, but it was way more stressful. Anyways, Toastmasters is happening tonight. It's called Top Shelf Toastmasters Club. They invite you to join them in person the second, third, and fourth Mondays of the month, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. They're going to be at the Fellowship Hall at Unity, uh, Unity Atlanta Church, located at 3597 Parkway Lane in Peachtree Corners. So if you want to go, go ahead and check them out, right? I think your first meeting is free, and then after that, you got to start paying your dues. 
But that's something you can do if you want to get better at speaking, kind of like me. That's what I want to do. All right, Guided Meditation Tuesday is going down at the Grotto, Saltville Grotto over in Snellville. If you need Guided Meditation, they are, it's going down. Because listen, meditation is hard, y'all. It is hard, hard, hard. It's hard. Um, even when I try to meditate, I can't. But what I found out, someone told me, say, Audrey, when do you think about things? When I wake up in the morning, before I look at my phone, before I get out of the bed, my mind is clear and things come to me. They told me that's a form of meditation. I was like, I was like, if that's a form of meditation, I can definitely do that because when it's quiet and I'm laying in my bed and there's nothing happening, I'm just laying there. I don't have the phone in my hand. I don't have the TV turned on. It's just quiet. I think clearly good things come to me. And that's why Sundays, Sundays and Saturdays are like my days, but Sunday has always been my day of just clarity. I don't know why it is, but it has always been my day of clarity. And it's not something that I focus on. It's just something that happens to me. So I get these, I get, I get these great moments of clarity, um, on Sundays for some strange reason. But anyway, I've tried to meditate before, even with like God, I just, I'm just not, I went to bed last night though. Guided meditation with Dr. Wayne Dyer. He was talking in the background. I fell right to sleep, but I was so tired anyway. Anyway, if you want to do guided meditation, it's happening tomorrow at 630 over at Saltville Grotto. That's located at 2447 Main Street East um, in Snellville. It is $30 for one session. You can get a four pack for $100. So if you want to learn how to meditate, listen, if y'all like me, it's hard to shut my mind off. It's, it's really hard. Sometimes you need guided meditation. Um, if that's you, then go ahead and knock yourself out. Cause I'm telling you, I, it, I'm, it's hard for me, but you may be able to do better than me. So go on over to Saltville Grotto and find out, you know, what kind of meditation you can get into. Maybe they can help you meditate better. I'm just saying, cause I, I suck. Yeah. My mind is always going 24 seven. I wake up with headaches like I did this morning, slept well, but woke up with a massive headache. Yeah. Probably cause I was thinking too much about what was happening. That's probably what it was. All right, I'm going to go to the song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County, so stay tuned. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. I can't wait another day to tell you you shouldn't wait. Don't be so afraid. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm finding games. When I'm at the top, I just want to play. Welcome back. 
It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. I was listening to the, uh, <laughs> I was listening to that song. It was a good song. Um, open House Protecting Research and Bay Boyle Pediatrics. Yes, yeah, the open house coming up tomorrow. Um, come help us celebrate two new Lawrenceville businesses opening Tuesday, July 18th. Meet Dr. Um, Akinsolo and Akintio um, and the terrific staff over at um, Tech Time. So if you want to you want to find out more about what they do at Tech Time, they're going to be having an open house tomorrow, and that's located at seven eleven seventy McKendry Church Road in Lawrenceville. Celebrate their opening. They're going to have face paintings. They're going to have um, Kona ice and prizes, prize drawings. So check them out. So we can't wait to meet our new neighbors. Go ahead, check them out again. That's going to be tomorrow, um, four p.m. Located at eleven seventy McKendry Church Road, and that's in Lawrenceville. Tech Time Research. Yeah, take them research. Check them out. Lawrenceville is growing. People are coming in. Yeah, they're coming from everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. All right, tomorrow, not tomorrow, not tomorrow. The 21st, a couple things happening on the 21st. One thing is how to amplify your business reach, unleashing the power of chat, GPT, AI, and podcasting. Hosted by none other than your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney. So this is going to be happening um, on Friday at... um, 12 p.m. to 2.30, we're going to be at Atlanta Tech Park. If you are thinking about, if you want to know more about um, technology and AI and all that good stuff, join us this coming Thursday, this coming Friday. We're going to be at Atlanta Tech Park. I'm going to be talking about how to amplify your business reach, unleashing the power of chat, GPT, AI, and podcasting. That's this coming this coming Friday from 12 to 2.30 p.m. To register for that event, you must register. Go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com, click on events, and you'll see the event and the registration link there. If you want to understand how you can leverage podcasting, this is a great opportunity. If you want to learn how to leverage podcasting without having to be behind the mic like, like I am right now, this is an even more uh, wonderful opportunity for you. Learn how you can do podcasting. Um, with AI, chat GPT, and still put your podcast out to share information about your business and help you build your brand. So that's this coming Friday at uh, July 21st at 12 to 2.30 p.m. We're going to be in Atlanta Tech Park. We're going to be at 107 Technology Parkway at Peachtree Corners. Again, you must register for this event. You can go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com to register. Click on events. You'll see the events there. Also, this coming Friday. Yeah, we busy this coming Friday, y'all. We busy. Also, this coming Friday, we will be doing our book launch, Conversation and Hors d'oeuvres with the Authors. Meet the Authors is a book tour. It's the beginning of our book tour. Um, Six authors will be there. We're going to be talking about our business, how we got started. Also, these books that we've written, and you can find out more information about that. Also, go to, um, if you want to register for that, you can go to register at info at noisemedia.us. It's free to attend. We want you to come out to support the book, the authors. There's going to be a book signing. We're going to have food, but it's free to you. So if you want to attend that event, again, RSVP by going to info at noisemedia.us. It's going to be this coming Friday at 7 p.m. We're going to be located at 31, 3130. Um, what is it? 30? I always say that wrong. I think it's 30. Anyway, check... 3130 Sugarloaf Parkway. I always get that wrong. 3130 Sugarloaf Parkway. That's where we're going to be. And that's in Lawrenceville. 7 p.m. on Friday. 3130 Sugarloaf Parkway. 7 p.m. on Friday. So check us out. Life Event Center. We're going to be there signing books. We're going to be talking about, you know, our businesses, how we got started. Also, what inspired us to write these books. It's, it's going to be good. We gotta have, we're going to have a comedian, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right? All right. What else I got going on? Back to school backpack. It's going down. Yeah, they, they're all over. You can find out things about this all over. Centerville, Rosebud, there's, they're having the back to school backpack. It's a fun, food fun, face painting, community event. School supplies are going to be given out for free. That's going to happen um, this coming Saturday at 11 a.m. It's going to be located at um, 3860 Centerville, Rosebud Road, and that's in Snellville. So if you want to come out and, um, and support the kids... Love and Faith Ministries present their back to school uh, giveaway. So it's going down this coming weekend. A lot of events going on this weekend. A lot of events going on this weekend. Again, that's the community backpack giveaway for school supplies. It's uh, first 100 people will be blessed. So first 100 people come out, you can come out and check it out. Again, that's going to be this Saturday. I'm telling you ahead of time so you can put up because there's a lot of backpack back to school backpack giveaways going on. 
Um, my, my good friend Shante Howes is going to be over at uh, South Gwinnett doing hers this coming Saturday as well. So they're all over the place. All you got to do is type in back to school and you'll find somebody giving away something this coming weekend for back to school. Again, that's going to be at, um, that's going to be at Love and Faith Ministries. That's going to be located at 3861 Centerville, Rosebud Road in Snellville. You got to come early so you can get your backpack while supplies last because it is not, it's not guaranteed that it's going to last. So make sure you get there early. All right. All right. It's going down. It's going down. I think that's all the news I got for y'all today. Yeah, that's about all I got for you. I'm going to go to my last song, then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Wasn't looking for a lover. Nobody understood where I've been. I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration for today. Here goes. Find a way, not an excuse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me say it again. Let me say it because somebody missed it. Find a way, not an excuse. Listen, I talk. my. So I think I said this on this before. My daughter called me Airy Fairy, right? Because I'm the person that even when things are looking the, the grimace, right? And I'm looking like, oh my God, this is crazy. I got to figure out how to do it. I'm always trying to find a way to make it better. Always. I don't want to talk about it. Just be talking about it. What is the solution to the problem? A lot of people will look for an excuse versus trying to focus on how to find a way to fix whatever it is going on. My challenge to you today is instead of trying to make an excuse, find a way. Find a way to do the thing you say you want to do. Find a way to correct the problems that's going on. Find a way. 
Don't make an excuse, find a way. Now, do I make excuses? Yep, I do. But when things are super important and I know they got to get done, I don't make excuses. I struggle to find a way to the point where I don't sleep sometimes. My head is hurting. Like right now I'm working on something. I need a way. And I should have slept really well. And I probably did sleep really well. My Fitbit will tell me later. But I woke up with a headache, which lets me know that I was thinking about the, the, the solution to the problem that I have to fix. Because instead of me trying to make an excuse why it is the way it is, it is the way it is. So what I need to do right now is focus on how to make it different than the way it is. So instead of me making excuses about, oh, this ain't happened, that ain't happened. No, nah, it didn't happen. So what is, the, what is the way? That's what you focus on. So what? don't make excuses today. Find a way. So all I got for you today could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 50 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. Listen, be sure to connect with me on Facebook and Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And if you can come out this Friday night, come out, join us as we do the book sign and come out this Friday afternoon if you want to learn about more AI and how to leverage AI and podcasts and help you grow your brand. I'm really going to be in, uh, informative, so check it out. Not just because I'm the one giving it, but because I'm I'm loving AI. It's a little scary, though. But I'm loving it, and I want to help you demystify um, AI and what it could actually mean to you and your business. So sh- come out this Friday. Go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com, 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 GwinnettWomensChamber.com to look at all of the events there and to register for the two coming up this weekend. All right, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m., God willing. You guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.